China is a meteoric rising power. The U.S. is a colossal ruling power. When a rising power threatens to displace a ruling power, tighten your seatbelt, danger ahead. 川普上任四年，美中陷入百年危机，让提出休息底德陷阱的哈佛大学教授艾利森都捏把冷汗。Trump trying to blame China for everything, and we are not happy with China. In the, in the realities of domestic politics, having to show that he was not softer on China than Trump. 随着拜登即将上任，美中关系会有调整。艾利森教授也点出会出现五个二。First is going to be a return to normal, so normal in the sense of not policy by tweet in the middle of the night, but rather normal procedures. 其他还包括逆转川普政府所犯的错误，重新检视过去的政策等等。尤其川普的关税战适得其反，贸易失衡显然不是两国对立的终结点。但拜登怎么直指核心才是关键呢 ？The intellectual theft, theft of intellectual property, that's a real concern. The problem of protectionism and promotion of champion industries to the disadvantage. Of the U.S. and the world, that's a real problem. But as the nation rises, two big powers fighting, no matter if it's a war or a peace, are impossible to avoid. Alison Jones also points out that the future of the United States is not to fall into such a trap. The challenge for President Biden, and similarly the challenge for President Xi Jinping, will be to appreciate that they're caught in the In the in the grips of a structural rivalry that you can't escape. 尽管陷阱再大，也有绕过的方式。认识拜登超过四十年，艾利森教授认为，拜登身为经验丰富的治国老手，只要美中双方体认到对方是可敬的对手，找到彼此共处的方式，就不必走上终须一战的残酷选择题。We're going to be all、uh, safer in a world. With President Biden. TVBS 新闻综合报道。网上看新闻，请下载 TVBS App 或直接按订阅 TVBS 新闻频道。